Now, if you've recently splashed out and bought yourself some new brake levers or brake calipers, or perhaps some new cables, or even you've just got five minutes to burn, and you wanna make sure that your braking is A-OK -okay so you can stop safely, let's go and do it in literally five minutes. So the first thing you're going to check is to make sure that your inner cable doesn't have any slack in it at all. This is especially important with the rear cable because there is often a couple of different cable stops where that rear brake cable can become stuck. So make sure it's nice and tight through there, otherwise you could find yourself basically grabbing a brake and not pulling anything correctly. Now, if you have ferrules on the end of your outer cable, make sure that the outer cable is pushed all the way inside of that ferrule. The reason being, if it's not, what you're gonna run the risk of happening is that outer cable is going to be moving rather than the inner cable first. And that's not gonna give you good braking. Now, if you don't have ferrules on the end of your cables, ensure that the outer cable is cut flush, so dead straight, and then place it all the way into the actual housing of either the brake caliper or the brake lever for the perfect braking. Now, when it comes to how close you want your pads to the rim, it's basically a case of personal preference. Some riders, they like to just touch the brake a little bit and then those pads touch the rim, whereas others like to almost touch the bar before the pads start touching the rim. Now, one thing to take into consideration here is if you do like your pads very close to the rim, is if you've got a pair of flexi wheels or a flexi frame, they could well rub when you get out of the saddle, climbing for instance, or in a sprint. So just bear that in mind. So, a good guide to start off with is to essentially hold the pads against the rim. Now, you could use an old toe strap here or get someone to help you. Alternatively, there is actually a tool called a third hand tool to help you with this. But you wanna pull the cable through the clamp and then tighten it up and then use the actual barrel adjuster here to fine tune your brake lever pull. Now in order to make sure that your brake calipers are aligned centrally, what you're going to need to do is release the brake mounting bolt either behind the forks or behind here the bridge on the seat stays and then line them up so that they are as central as possible by your eye and then tighten up that bolt. Then you've normally got a screw or a socket head here on the actual brake caliper itself that you can then fine tune that adjustment to centrally align them. What you want to do is to make sure that both brake pads touch the rim at the same time when you pull on that lever. It might take a little bit of effort, but it's more than worth it for that perfect braking. Now aligning the brake blocks can be a little bit fiddly, but fundamentally you want to make sure that the actual brake block itself is in the center of the braking surface. Too low and you're gonna get bad braking, and too high, you're gonna run the risk of going through the sidewall of your tire. And that's not exactly gonna give you perfect braking, is it? So grab yourself an Allen key. And what I like to do is actually hold the brake on, loosen it, and then line it up before retightening it. Now, before you do that final little bit there, it's actually hold it with your hands to make sure it doesn't move, and then you're good to go. Towing in your brake pads refers to the angle of which the brake pad actually touches the rim at. So in the best case scenario, what you want to happen is for the front part of both brake pads, front and rear, to actually touch the rim surface before the back, say third. The reason being that's gonna give you better braking and also hopefully reduce the chance of brake squeal. Nobody likes brake squeal, do they? So the best way of towing in is to use something like an old business card or a bit of card, like a cereal packet, that kind of thing, and then place it in behind the brake pad about a third of the section of the rear of it, and then pull on your brake, and then undo that mounting bolt here of the brake pad, and then tighten it up. That way, now you should have perfectly towed in brakes. Just repeat that process all round, and you'll be good to go. Right, well, I don't know what the stopwatch is actually on right now, because I have rushed through that pretty fast to make it under five minutes, at least I hope. If you have got some time spare, maybe have a look at your brake pads too and make sure that they are all okay and they're not glossy or shined over at all. If they are, 
treat yourself some new ones. You're worth it. Now, do remember as well to like and share this video with your friends and also leave me your comments down below on how you like to make sure your brakes are working properly. What are your little methods or tricks of the trade? Don't forget too to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. You can buy things like this workshop apron, ideal for working on your bike. And now for another great video, click just down here.